All right. I think everybody's there, huh? Now, Father and the Son and Holy Ghost, Amen. You can stand for. Hail Mary, flow grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Most sacred heart of Jesus, no Mary can see without sin. Saint Joseph, in the name of the Father and the Son and Holy Ghost, Amen. So, my dear friends, today I would like to speak to you about um, uh, the resistance getting a third bishop. Now, we just got a second one. Now we got a third one. So, um, the multiplication of bishops like rabbits could be a bad sign of the resistance. So, when a bishop comes in, he must uh, show montrer patte blanche, as they say in French. And so, he must show his uh, credentials and everything. <coughs> So this one was trying, and um, Father uh, Joe Pfeiffer is very wary of internet rumors, and he's very wary of uh, what is being said on Cast Info. I reckon the people on Cast Info don't like him very much, so I'm not using uh, um, Cast Info information or anything. Let us simply uh, analyze what uh, came on his websites and uh, what was said in Kentucky itself. Because since the interview was given by Father Hugo to Bishop Moran, and uh, uh, he was preaching at the main altar in Kentucky, this is what's coming from the horse mouth. So I've done my homework for you, so you don't have to go through all these four uh, documents, uh, four uh, YouTube things, and waste your time. So you have the... So I want just to go, let's just simply go through the list of the claims that Bishop Moran, or Bishop or not Bishop, I don't know, that the claims that he's making. Just, and I think to solve this crisis, we just need to look at the claims he is making. So I'm, I'm, I'm not saying anything right now. Let's just go through his claims. What it's all about is what he says. So he starts his sermon with no sign of the cross. He keeps the manipul and uh, some sort of a black beady thing on his, uh, and he has a, a ponytail. So, so cl first claim, I am Ukrainian descent, or Serbian, I don't know, his uh, seminary in the Salesians, so Novus Ordo Seminary, perhaps. 73, I'm a deacon, 74, I'm a priest, 75, daily mass at the altar of St. Josephat in St. Peter of Rome. And then comes this picture um, uh, the picture uh, which looks like a humongous face I'm, oh, sorry, I'm referring to the interview with uh, Father Hugo I think we'll see the sermon later so this picture looks I am no expert in uh, Photoshop I don't know how to use Photoshop or anything but it really looks even for me who is not an expert for any one of us it looks like a humongous fake there is one, uh, one uh, cardinal Slippe is in a halo of light, and uh, his angle uh, doesn't match with uh, the one who is sitting next to him. The blending of the vestments of the two doesn't, is not crisp. It does, it, you don't see uh, the clear delimitation between the two individuals. And then the background, and, um, so the picture really looks like a fake. If you want to prove from the outset that you are a bishop, don't give this type of picture. Find other pictures. Or don't, don't show any picture altogether. Because this, uh, this is a really uh, a bad start. The purpose, so the claim, the purpose is to enter the Soviet Union. And then instead, I return to the US. So I was consecrated by Cardinal Slipe in order to enter the Soviet Union, in order to take care of the uh, underground church because I was trained by Russian, Russian Jesuits and I'm a spy and instead he returns to the US the, um, that's on the fourth minute the picture shows him back as a priest Reverend William Moran on the picture it says my life was threatened 
uh, I had to head one of these jurisdictions, which, which I did. So he's heading jurisdiction in, uh, in the West. John Paul II, minute eight, John Paul II praising me as uh, St. Josephat the New because of my work at encouraging union with Rome. Uh, and then he really looks uh, sideways uh, when he says that. But the problem is that he is talking to a traditional Catholic audience. For us, John Paul II is Antichrist. So when a novice sordo is praising, uh, praising somebody, uh, John Paul II canonized also uh, Escriba de Balaguer. And uh, Mother Teresa got beatified by him, or canonized, I don't know, I don't remember. Uh, so you, you don't get much credential if, you're, uh, if you get your recommendation from John Paul II. The job is to remain in the wings. So Ad Infinitum, he says, I remain in the wings, I remain in the wings. So, you know, you didn't see me these years because I remain in the wing. I was told to remain in the wing. Uh, just, and then he repeats just what he said um, again on minute 12. Uh, I, uh, Cardinal Stipe uh, told me to go to the USSR. The, the, my consecration was to go to the, uh, to the USSR. Instead, why go? I immediately says, I went to the US. Then he blacks, blacks out totally. Then again, Father Hugo is Asking him again, Father Hugo says, "But you had this mission from Cardinal Slipper, so what was, what happened? You know, did you, did you witness to the face and everything?" So, and again he repeats, "I did the end." Then he is unsettled because it's the third time, you know, that Father Hugo, second or third time Father Hugo is asking. So he reply, "I did anti-communist thing in the U.S. as a priest. So I was an underground bishop in the free world." Doing things as a priest while being a bishop, and uh, while being expected in uh, in Ukraine. So it's a very strange claim. He claims that actually uh, he was a coward, perhaps. I mean, because he's told to go to the USSR, he's not going there. We were threatened to blacken our names and reputation. Yeah, but this is happening to all of us, you know. All, all of your, your names, all your names are blackened and threatened, and your reputations are being lost, you know, from across the street, at least. So, I am preaching the faith, so many times I'm preaching the faith, the faith, blah, blah, blah. And then he mentions, I was in John 23rd Center of Fordham, run by the Jesuits. That's also a problem. You know, it, it, it seems to fit like a fish in the water with, uh, with a novice ordo. All these years, it's a problem. The crisis of the church is going on. And then uh, my, my also big question, what's your relationship with the fraternity of St. Josephat? Because they were good for, uh, for quite a while. Now there are two priests of the fraternity of St. Josephat who have contacted the resistance because the, now the St. Josephat is following Bishop Fellet. But they were very good for many years. And there is, in the Ukrainian Novisordo Church, Ukrainian Uniate uh, Church, there is a big problem of modernism. There is, it's a big problem. And that's caused the fraternity of St. Joseph to exit the, uh, these, the Novisordo Ukrainian. And there is no mention whatsoever of, of the fraternity of St. Joseph and, uh, and the fight. So I was doing the good fight, but I'm, uh, here are the pictures that prove that I'm fitting perfectly with a Novus Ordo Ukrainian. Because the adjournamento also took place in the Eastern Rite Catholics. And uh, you cannot recommend yourself from Paul VI and John Paul II, because those are the ones who betrayed the Catholic Ukrainian. If there was some fidelity in Slipe and, and, and some others, they were betrayed precisely by John Paul II. John Paul II was never worried about the communist authorities of uh, General uh, Jaruzelski when he was in Poland. Cardinal Wyszynski had a problem. But n n Wojtyla never. He, he had never any issues with the communists. And John Paul II, when he was a pope, had Cardinal Casaroli as his... Um, uh, Secretary of State and Casaroli organized the host politic. So you cannot identify yourself as an anti-communist uh, or as somebody who is fighting for the union of the two churches uh, from John Paul II because John Paul II has got it all backwards. 
And then the, there is in minute 21, uh, the, the Lviv vicar bishop, uh, Bishop Boretsky, uh, sends him a letter, makes him a metropolitan archbishop for the Ukrainian patriarchal jurisdiction. It's a papal privilege. So it's just a claim he's making for confirmations. With the knowledge of John Paul II, well aware of my work. And again, again he says, Joseph had the new again. No, go back to the USSR and uh, you know, keep the faith and blah, blah, blah. I will teach you faith. Elusive. Uh, then Father Chico asked him uh, about John Paul II because he's praised John Paul II several times for praising, for praising him. And, uh, and then he says, no, I don't agree with John Paul II, but then it's very elusive, very, it's, not, it's not spot on. He's kind of bored by the question of Father Hugo. That's minute 28. Minute 28, yes, sleepy. Slipe ordered me to give the sacraments for the people of the Latin rites. Archbishop Lefebvre and John Paul II approved, yet again. Very strange. And I'm in Colorado Hermitage for uh, seven years. That's how it ends. You get, um, and then uh, on his website, there are plenty of pictures. But the uh, big problem is that where are the pictures from the late 90s to 2015? There's a big gap there, surprising. The other uh, YouTube thing, so I think I'm saving you the space, which is only 14 minutes, so you saved some time. The, the sermon. So the sermon, uh, there's no sign of the cross. So no sign of the cross, you know, the uh, manipole and the black beady thing, ponytail, and the red cap. So I'm a bishop from the east. He was in the St. Pius X Preparatory Seminary. I, I guess, I don't know if it's this. Uh, I'm from the Ukrainian Royal House. This ring belongs to Pope Pius XII. Cardinal Slipe gave me this ring when he consecrated me. 73 deacons, 74 priests, 75 minor archimind rites, 76 bishop. Made a bishop in summer of 76. No mention of the uh, co-consecrating bishops. It was low-key, the purpose, I was a spy, uh, I, uh, I was trained by the Russian Jesuits. Um, so that's minute, nine, uh, ninth minute. Then uh, twelfth minute, I did that, I got out quick, we had to consecrate, say, in a hotel room. So you just sneak in a place, and exit. So, because I was a spy, so I consecrate. What did you consecrate? Consecrate a bishop there in a hotel room? You were a spy uh, in the US. Then uh, Alexander Nemzov, you know, ambassador to the UN or something. The same cast of characters can go back to the old script, hence underground. So our life can be threatened in the US, therefore we've got to be underground in the US. I'm just listing the claims he's making. Then uh, Beretsky, uh, again he repeats, because now it's a sermon, the right hand of Slipe. Slipe is going to call you, you are going to give confirmation for the Latin rite, and that's in 1978. Then I'm a monk of the strict observance. We don't like too much strict observance in the resistance. It's, uh... <laughs> John Paul II knew uh, I was administering confirmation. This was before there was a personal prelature. So I was working for tradition with the approval of John Paul II, yet again, he insists. I visited Bishop Sheridan. I have a couple of doctorates in psychology. I was one of the leaders in the study of neuropsychology, which is the area of the brains, etc. I'm well educated. <laughs> so uh, then he knows Father Gomar de, de Poy. I got an automated papal privilege. So John Paul II knew, and he referred to me as Josephat the New. It rhymes, very beautiful, but it's the fourth time. So John Paul II, John Paul II always, this, I got the seal of John Paul II, I am Josephat the New. Uh, the underground Josephat the New. <laughs> it's, it's, perhaps because I'm such a new and different Josephat than the, than the original, I don't know. The Pope sent the crown to one of my predecessors, so he is talking about Imperial crowns, the Pope sent the crown to one of my predecessors, King Daniello of Voligna. So one of my predecessors 
is King Daniello of Volinia. That's minute 22 in a sermon. Paul was six and John Paul II knew it and that was it. I could, do, uh, I could go around and distribute whatever sacraments. I still have his sacos the, uh, and I wear this as his successor. I've got the sacos of Cardinal Stipe. And I wear it as his successor. I am the successor of Cardinal Stipe. So there, uh, therefore, I am a patriarch. I'm a patriarch of the East. And perhaps that explains the red cap he's, uh, he's wearing, because Slipe is, is a cardinal. I don't know. Then it uh, talks about Spider-Man and Easter Rabbit and uh, says his age. You know, I am 66 and a half years of age. That's 66 years and six months. Now, I'm 44. In 22 years from now, when I will be 66, I'll wait half a year before I say my age. <laughs> Uh, I have some then comes you gotta watch this it's in minute 31 I have some connection in the Vatican I was trained by the Russian Jesuits I get informations from the Pentagon I knew President Nixon and I knew certain presidents I have certain contacts But humility and obedience, right away. Humility and obedience. You know, I, just, I just get my information from the Pentagon. You know, I, don't, I don't need your help, okay? I am a metropolitan archbishop, there is. Minute 3308. With a status canonically of a patriarch. So he, I have it from Cardinal Stipe. I'm, I'm God the Father, basically. <laughs> I have letters, documents, some of the pic pictures when I was made a bishop. Well, we have only one so far, and it doesn't look good at all. These are the things that go back to the beginning. So John Paul II again, minute 36, gets boring. And then he ends the, um, the sermon with no sign of the cross and a, and a, bizarre, uh, a bizarre blessing on the, on the people. And then there is a God the Father tune. You know, like, you know, and then the, the seal of quality, you know. Uh, like this, <laughs> um, with a uh, with a Godfather tune, the seal of quality of Pablo the Mexican, and uh, and uh, the Godfather tune for me, it's uh, we have a bishop that you cannot refuse. We make you the offer, you know. We got now a, a new Godfather. So, so, so that's what you hear. That's 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 on YouTube, and then there is the address on the tenth of September two thousand fifteen. Uh, I completed my studies under his beatitude, a mitred abbot, by papal altar in St. Peter, so he repeats. Uh, bishops sent by, uh, so two bishops consecrated me with Cardinal Schlippe, bishop sent by the Melkite and another bishop, but still no names. No names, no papers. Uh, so Soviet territory, I was sent in the Soviet territory, but immediately goes to the U.S., uh, then I was ordered by Cardinal Schlippe. I'm a bi-ritual bishop. So he says, I'm a bi-ritual bishop, and that's why at the end of the, uh, of the short talk, he confuses the two blessings in Latin. So the blessing that we give at the end of the Mass, and the blessing that we give when we bless you. Just a simple, normal blessing. So he confuses it, well, perhaps because he's a, a bi-ritual bishop. But that, that talk doesn't say much about him. And then lastly, there is Father uh, Joe Pfeiffer, a uh, sermon, recent sermon on the Feast of St. Teresa of the Child Jesus. So he says, minute nine, so he starts nice, flowing, elocution, interesting. But you have to wait minute nine before he starts to say something about the problem. Six months ago, he contacted me, cross-examination, investigation, talk with other priests. The accusations are not true. So, so far, I'm not making any accusation against him. I just told you all his claims, the pile of his claims. So we will drill you again afterwards, Mass on Sunday. So Father Hugo says, uh, we are still drilling him. No, Father Pfeiffer says, no, we are not drilling him. We finished the drilling, but then Mass on Sunday. We have a copy of his certificate uh, of consecration, I guess. So, uh, but we are not allowed to see it, I don't know. And we have hundreds of pictures with priests of the Novus Ordo. Well, that's what I say. 
So he, he is collaborating with the Novus Sordo for many years. While Archbishop Lefebvre is fighting, he is smugly fitting with the Novus Ordo church. So Father Joe seems to agree that there's a problem there. We do not make decisions on the man's weakness. Yes, some weakness, yes, but other weakness, if the man is a, is a total public liar, you know, who knows Nixon, who gets information from the Pentagon, who is a leading authority in the field of neuropsychology, who is a prince of Ukraine and is a patriarch, metropolitan, uh, archbishop, minor archimandrite, cardinal, uh, with uh, automated papal privileges, and uh, other things that I'm forgetting, you know. Uh, so, so if the man has the weakness of lying, then uh, yes, perhaps we should base our decision on this one weakness, because it doesn't help to be a bishop and to lie all the time. So it does not belong, not a line, just visiting. So we're just visiting Kentucky. If he's just a visitor, let him just visit. You say, he says the mass on the side altar, because he's just visiting. Why do you put him forth? He says, I'm going to help for the ordinations, I'm going to help for the... I'm, I'm not going to let you people... Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to abandon you and everything. No, if he's just visiting, then that's nice. Of course, you know, we, we take visitors. But he was not just visiting. It's hard for us to believe that he came just to visit. Just rumors. But can, uh, he can sneak under the fence. Perhaps he is sneaking under the fence. We are careful. If he sneaks, then he's a good charlatan. I, I don't think he is. I think they should have found a better liar, you know, than, than this one. I mean... You need, you need somebody better. You need somebody who knows at least that we don't like John Paul II. At least. He, he should have studied us a little more before approaching us. And if he is discovered to be such a charlatan, he shall be abandoned. So I, I, I clearly invite Father Joe to follow his own advice. The worst case, and that's a moment of wisdom... The worst case, Father Pfeiffer and Father Hugo made a mistake in the worst case. That I agree. That I agree. So I, I want to um, clearly expose uh, this Bishop Moran as a, as a liar. So the mistake has been made. Please, wake up. You know, wake up. That, that, that bishop is a fake. Please wake up. None of us, none of your other confreres... Uh, acknowledge that uh, that bishop as a, as a credible. Uh, that bishop is demolishing the little that you have. The, your little operation in Kentucky, it's demolishing. It, it's, it's taking your credibility away in a grave way. Because all these stupid claims are, uh, are official, come emanating officially from you. Because there is a voice of Father Hugo, and it's the main altar of, uh, of Kentucky. So you have to take this bishop down. Or right, let him visit if he wants next time. He can visit. But let him, don't put him up. He needs to convert from his uh, life of lies. So uh, there must be uh, so lots of eloquence at the end. Uh, our Lord will provide. Well, not this one. This one is not a gift of God. He is 66 and 6 months years of age. So, um, and Ambrose, the evidence point, he ends, Ambrose, the evidence point in the right direction. We are still waiting for evidence. I, uh, we have not seen his certificate of ordination or his certificate uh, his, of uh, consecration as a bishop. Because if the consecration happened and then they came out in the afternoon, you know, on the porch of the church uh, of the Dormition in Rome... Well, you don't consecrate a bishop without, without papers. At least he got some papers uh, from Cardinal Slipe for his... Uh... So, so the big question remains. Um, uh, the, there are other big questions outside of this uh, YouTube, I think. Um, I'm telling Father Pfeiffer, limit yourself. I limit myself uh, for the time being uh, on this YouTube thing. There are other questions, of course. Um, that concerns him. You put his name on Google and everything, and immediately he appears on the Ukrainian Autocephalus Orthodox websites. 
on the Goka, the Genuine Orthodox Church of America. He appears there as joining them. Now, are all these fakes, these, was all these events that appear or once you Google his name, are all these things fakes? I asked Father Hugo the question and then he replied that uh, Bishop Moran said, I joined them in order to convert them. But we heard that before from the mouth of Bishop Ferre. We don't join the enemies of the church in order to convert them. And so Father Pfeiffer has another reply. Bishop Moran swears that he only came there to summon them to join the Catholic Church. Is this matching what we have about him in his relationship with the genuine Orthodox Church of America? So if he swears, if, he, if you maintain that he actually swears, then he's not just a liar, he's a perjurer. So it doesn't help really the case. And there is a gap in the pictures, all the pictures he gives on his website, from the uh, late 90s to 2015. And that gap is not encouraging. Because it seems that in, in those dog years, uh, he was um, you know, <laughs> missing in action, you know. <laughs> or he was absent without leave from the Catholic Church. So we need to see the certificates. And uh, I, I, I still maintain we got these many years in Novus Ordo Church while claiming to resist undergroundingly in the free world. It's now, it's true, the free world is switching now. The free world is more Russia now. And the communist world is the Obama world. But in those times, no, there was no worry. There was no, uh, nobody who would come to kill you every morning. So why did he not fulfill, uh, the, and then lastly, why did he not fulfill the mandate of Cardinal Slipe? That's, uh, that's the question. If he says, I had a mandate, I had a mandate and I didn't go there. And he says it several times. So all this appears from the, the YouTube, the YouTube, from his words. So I think you believe, you believe this man, you believe this bishop at your own risk. I am not taking this risk. And I'm inviting anybody else to not to take this risk. If you don't believe me, look at those uh, YouTube things. I'm just giving you the uh, resume the, of what his claims are. The statement, the mere statement of his claim, of the claims that he's making, is, is from another world, from another land. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, poor Father Joe needs to take some vacation in Disneyland to see how it's done over there with Goofy and with Mickey Mouse. You need to, to, he needs to show how it's done over there. Because we really have, uh, we really have a Mickey Mouse. In, in, a, in a way, it's, it helps us to see more clearly that we have a real Mickey Mouse, a complete Mickey Mouse. Now, if he wishes to commit perjury, that's his problem, all right? If he swears, all right, let, him, let Mickey Mouse swear, but it's a Mickey Mouse oath. So we do not have anything. He's got nothing to show. And so, um, I, uh, you know, I, for all the love that I have for Mickey Mouse and Disneyland, you know, I cannot uh, entrust Mickey Mouse with uh, any of my friends. That's it. Okay, is he still with Father Piper right now? He stay, still stays Mass in Colorado, yes, for the group uh, in Colorado. And he says he's coming back. So. Perhaps he should uh, make a refutation of his own claims that he made on YouTube. Yes? Is, does Father Pfeiffer, has he fallen out with Bishop Four? Yes. He, he's fallen out with Bishop Four. With the two bishops, yeah. yeah. So, because it seems like he's chasing a bishop, like just from an outsider looking at it. Yes. Because yeah. it's madness. Yeah. Yeah. So, he just, that's what it looks like. And so, he, he Father Four. Yeah, I'm saying he's throwing out with Bishop Four because now it's very unlikely Bishop Four will even set foot in Kentucky. Bishop Williamson came, uh, but now I don't, th I don't think Bishop Four is going to show up. Why? What happened? I don't know. I think he's too tired. He's lost his judgment on this. Now, you keep uh, Father Pfeiffer for what is good. His sermons, the work he's doing for the faithful in the United States, that remains. I'm not putting this into question. 
but uh, this no, I can't. Yeah, I, I can't. I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, uh, I I hope he doesn't uh, say that I am slandering him. I'm just taking the elements of Bishop Ambrose. It does not add up. There's nothing. Nothing makes sense in what he says. All the way down to the ponytail. I'm just saying to Father Piper, have pity on yourself. You are self-destroying. If you stick with that with that man, that man is, is gonna gut you. He's gonna he's gonna uh, probably that he was alone in New York, you know, uh, because it, it looks like the Orthodox didn't even want him. They were not even interested to have him. We are urging him not not to lose his uh, mind. We don't need to lose his two good priests. They need to wake up. Wake up. In all charity, we are telling them, please, don't do that to yourself. What he said in his moment of wisdom, is, it's in there, it's in the moment of wisdom of his sermon. Uh, the worst case scenario is Father Pfeiffer and Chico made a mistake. And he said, we can make mistakes. Alright. Now it's show time. Show time. Show to us that you do not consider yourself infallible. Make a big show that you made a mistake. You would, you would confirm your authority on your own faithful. You would reassure all of us, and then you would confirm your authority on your faithful by saying, "No, I'm not infallible. I'm not infallible." Uh, we, are, we are just trying to do fraternal correction on him, based on overwhelming, uh, you know, CIA, Pentagon, contacts in the Vatican, uh, Nixon, and other presidents' evidence. It's presidential evidence. There. It's not that special faith. Yeah. I should say different. But yeah, I knew many presidents myself, so you gotta trust me. <laughs> I'm a leading authority in the science of criminology. <laughs> <coughs> so we pray for him. Mm -hmm. So uh, um, I'm just posting this to, so that he, he may uh, wake up. How many seminarians has Father Pfeiffer got now? I don't know. I, I've got some contact in mine. Tell me only three, perhaps. I don't. If they're not posting any pictures these days, uh, as they do usually, uh, perhaps that confirms that. Uh, well, I, I, I he's not happy uh, about me right now. Because you know, he's he's got he's got to swallow the pill. He's got he's got he's got to, he's got to look at what's be in front of him. What's in front of him is this moron, um, moron. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and that's. That's not happening. So, and um, he's not making the resistance look like Mickey Mouse because the resistance is rejecting. My other confreres are rejecting this uh, Bishop Moran. We are all rejecting him, for the Ortiz, for the Valan, and so on and so forth. We are not uh, so. It's to the credit of the resistance that we do not take this uh, Mickey Mouse seriously. But it's true that if you. For our Bishop Williamson and Bishop Four, you have bishops available on Amazon. Mm -hmm. You can find them. You know, it's mm -hmm. uh, it's just one click away or two clicks away. You get your bishops, your holy orders, and so forth. But I, I don't. I'm not even sure he's a priest. I don't know. Yeah. We don't. But well, we don't have his papers uh, even as a priest. So, you have pictures? Yes. Yes. Is Father Pfeiffer a right hand man? Yes. He's a Mephistopheles of Father Pfeiffer. So, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not entering into the. Uh, I don't trust Father uh, I knew him. I saw him. I think he's, um, he's not to be trusted yet. Uh, and then his Father Pablo has, uh, has gutted the, the place of Kentucky. So what That's another problem altogether with this other uh, Bishop Moran. But uh, Pfeiffer should realize that Pablo is sinking this place. This latest Bishop Moran found by Pablo. Uh, so. But Father, is Father Hugo accepting the bishop? Is Father Hugo said we're still inquiring. So he's not entirely sure. So yes, if you're not entirely sure, look around, look, look again. Look, at, look again at what pen and paper and, and, and list his claims. We are asked to believe those things without proof. When you make a claim, you must prove your claim. 
if you knew Nixon, if you uh, get your information from Paragon, let's go there and visit. If you are a leading authority in the field of neuropsychology, there must be some traces somewhere. Neuropsychology is a medical discipline. Well, I think uh, God will provide us a bishop. So this is a bishop coming from on high. So. That's, what, that's all I want to say. I think it's necessary to, to be done. With that we uh, don't worry, nobody here in Australia sticks with that Bishop Moran. No. <laughs> you saw our bishop recently. It's Bishop Ford, he's got his head squarely on his shoulders and his common sense and his humility. It's not just humility on his mouth, but it's humility in action. Like when he went to Camigin, he was with Father Solo, he put Father Solo up front with the driver and he, and he put in a, on a platform in the back with the others, with the kids and the, and the, and the, and the faithful. So, no, 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 I'm, I'm in the back, I'm in the back. And not a single complaint, we have not. Notice a single complaint, a single impatience of uh, Bishop Ford whatsoever in all his visits through Australia, New Zealand, Philippines, and India. He never complains. So, uh, humility is there, yeah. Because you see it with your eyes, in action. Is that humility? Mm, the, sin, the Joseph had the new? I don't know. What kind of humility is that? It's just Mickey Mouse humility. But he's, he's a Mickey Mouse. He's not a dangerous infiltrator because he's got no talent for lying. Anybody, even the children, you know, are laughing. There's no talent. So if Father Pfeiffer really sticks with him, he's it's, it's yeah. going to die. And his sermons are so fantastic. That's right, his sermons are fantastic. His sermons, so, I mean, uh, the powerful. doctrine powerful and the, Oh. The anecdotes, the, the richness in, uh, in the evocations that he had. What happens when David had a sleep, St. Peter? Yep. So uh, let him use the occasion for, to show us that he believes what he says when he said, in worst case, Father Pfeiffer and people made a mistake, and we can make mistakes. So let him show time for that. Mm. If he shows that he can uh, recognize them, that would be... I think if he shows that he's made a mistake, his authority will be increased. And there will be no damage, because we all make mistakes. Re from day one, resistance has never claimed to be infallible. It's Bishop Felix's problem, infallibility. But from, from the very start, we never made, never made a claim to be infallible. That's why uh, you know, Bishop Williamson irritates Father Pfeiffer, because Bishop Williamson does want, doesn't want to be another infallible man. And he makes mistakes. And he admits that he makes mistakes. He's exercising leadership by consecrating Bishop Paul by giving us the dispensations we need, the sacraments we need, and he's not leading us to the Novus Solo. He's discouraged uh, at times and everything, and pessimistic, we know. He, he was that way before, he hasn't changed. But the, the direction of Bishop Grimson is not the Novus Solo. He's not leading us to the Novus Solo, as far as I know. Any other questions? I think I've got a plane at 1 o'clock, so we better get going now. So, uh, it's good to make it all clear, you know. You are, I think you are reassured with nothing to do with this Mickey Mouse. Well, it's very mm. we, got, uh, we got enough Mickey Mouse amongst us as it is. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> All right, give you my blessing. Benexio de Montantis, Patrice et Filiette, Santi, Vichonat, Superbos, Edmania, Sandre, Amen.